What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's the very best day of the week because it's Snap on Friday. There is the man. So let's see what he's got today. You guys, come on. Man, it is Friday. Finally. Finally Friday. Friday. <sighs> Boy, there ain't nothing looks no better than a set of brand new snap-on sockets still in the plastic. And chrome be shining. No scratches. No nothing. But you know, I gotta say, for as nice as the tools are and as good as they look, Y'all got some shitty ass packaging. <laughs> <laughs> like that looks like some stuff. Some of the boxes y'all got looks like stuff that comes from a dollar store. <laughs> like with the how the where's the one I seen? Like I know they ain't selling the tools for the packaging, <laughs> but man, you gotta save money somewhere. Enough. <laughs> as much as they cost, they could they could do a little better on the presentation of the packaging. Because uh, they some cheap looking packaging. But I guess ain't nobody buying it for the package. Now most that's going in the garbage anyway. As <laughs> soon as they uh, get it inside, I'm just stating the obvious though. You know, be surprised how many of them on here is already pulling tools out the package, handing me the plastic. <laughs> be easier wait till you get inside. Or you don't lose something between here and there. But yeah, that's it, like I didn't. The first time I ever seen was a snap-on battery in a box was on somebody else's truck. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't. I didn't know they come yeah. in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pull them all out the box. I got to reload my cordless tools. I've been selling the fire of them today. But like, you see, I keep some down here in boxes and stuff. But, uh, and I think yeah, I the impact both the, kits. Yeah. Like when you get a brand new impact kit in, yeah, that box it comes in is, it's about pitiful. Yeah. But like there's three eighths impact in the battery. Like there's some and, cheap ass boxes too. Yeah. Like but them boxes them. ain't made in America. I guarantee you. <laughs> that feels like some Taiwanese right there. Yeah, no doubt. It's <laughs> on China. But yeah, no. I always pull them out the box. I mean, I had them in here, but I don't sold three of these this morning at two different shops. So It'd be hard to sell and... them in the box because of, you know, I don't look yeah, too I mean, everybody wants to grab them and feel them in their hand. And they, they get them, and then they start playing with them and stuff. I guess a lot of guys in trouble grabbing them and feeling them with their hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you bought it then. Yeah. Y'all see, y'all all thinking I'm thinking about something dirty when I said that. That's exactly like what they're thinking. Man, I'm, I promise. Y'all's gutter minds. Yep. I'm talking about the tool. Like when you hold that CT761, you're gonna end up buying it. But there's a lot of people though. I mean. Clay's been on numerous trucks doing these videos and stuff, but I mean, you got a lot of people's trucks where they have, I mean, 20 of these things sitting up on the racks mm -hmm. like this right here, you know? Oh, I yeah. mean, everything just stacked, stacked up. And it. it looks all nice and pretty and stuff, but you can't mess with them. You know, this actually needs to go back down here. I got to get this one out. Can't and put it touch back on the and feel on them. Yeah. Well, I did have another box of pliers up here if everybody touched and feel on them, but for some reason this week, the box of pliers that sit on the corner has uh, hit the floor four times and finally I took the box. I got pissed off through it down there. <laughs> Threw the pliers up here. There's a plier rack over there. And mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. can't get it through nothing. But I'm gonna pull right. this one out while I'm thinking about it. Why was I forgetting it hit the floor too? Yeah, that uh, <clears throat> putting that CT-761 in somebody's hands, how you can sell oh, it Yes, now. that gets to a dangerous situation real fast then. It's almost a done deal at that point. Yeah. Look at that one, boy. She's fresh. She got that brand new impact smell going on. Ain't he got a fingerprint on it yet. Mm -hmm. Makes me want to buy it, and I got like six of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, why you got so many? I said, well, I got one in every vehicle. I got one in each box. Yep. I said, I just like them, man. We was talking about that earlier, even about other stuff too. Yeah, I mean, we was talking about the Nipex, Nipex the 10-inch Cobras, yeah. 
Yep. I got three pair and Hamilton's got, well, not counting what he's got on his truck. He's got a lot more than five pair, but he counted yeah. up he had five pair for his personal use. Yeah, one in each vehicle, one in the shop, one in the house. I ain't got none of them on the truck because I, I sold my last two pair of them this morning to the same guy. Yep. He bought two pair of them. And them 10 yeah. inches, the, in my opinion, that's the best one they make. The 10 inch, and I like these little bitty ones too. See, but really I like the, the size, ones with the grips on them. I, I say really the than, size right above these though with the soft grip, and I'm out of them at the moment. There was somebody had asked on one of the videos if I had one of the, what was it, AWP 45, the little pair of snap-on pliers. Oh, yeah. I said, yeah. I said, I bought them. That was like my second purchase on the snap-on truck. Yeah. And I said, Hamilton's warranted them out like two or three times where they'd start slipping. Yeah. Like the jaws would slip. I said, the last time he warranted them out with a pair of Nipex. And they ain't looked back since. And all we've done was wore the grip off of them. <laughs> for yeah. pocket wire. <laughs> I saw a bunch of the... Uh... 100s on the Nipex, and I sell a bunch of these more than I do the AWP. Uh, like for the folks is wondering, this is what the AWP 45s look like, but they're smaller, of course. Yep. Yep. They're this size. They're good pliers, but the thing on them is this wear out the on little them. channel inside, and they, yeah. Yep, and they slide down. Mm -hmm. uh, good pliers, sold a whole bunch of them. But now I fixed a and bunch of bunch of fences with that yeah. little old pair of pliers oh, yeah, they're handy. from being in my pocket. Yeah, they're very handy. Uh, and so a bunch of these right here. Uh, there's a lot of guys that won't go nowhere without these. Because mm -hmm. uh, anybody that's got cows know cows only get out at nighttime when you're going out of town or when it's pouring, pouring down Pouring down rain. Like if you ain't got nothing to do on a Saturday and it's 70 degrees and sunny, they ain't getting out then. And they, they ain't don't breaking never, fences then. They'll never get out right in your front yard either. They get out by the road, <laughs> yeah. in the curve. That's what we used to joke. I said, every mama cow we got spits that baby out underneath the bottom strand of barbed wire as soon as it hits the ground. Just <laughs> shoots her right under there. Other side of the fence and got to get there too. <clears throat> and then she's going to freak out and go after it. Well, yep. And both of them's going to be standing in the middle of the road in a curve and at night when it's raining. Everybody thinks that cows is dumb. The fence hold them in there. The fence hold that cow in there until it don't want to be held That's in there it. no more. And then it don't, I don't care. It'd walk through this truck if it wants to. Like we... We ended up building a big round pen. I said, I'm going to buy the heaviest, dutiest panels they make. We bought pre panels. And for those that don't know about cattle, that's about the snap-on equivalent of tools right there. <laughs> like, there's one thing higher, and that's Mount Everest, you know. Yeah. So, but they're really good panels. And I was like, man, we're done buying, you know, catch panels. This is over now. We put a bull in there, a big Charlay bull. He jumped up one time, put his front legs over the top of it. And just doo -doo 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 -doo. I was like, well, there's $275. For one panel? <laughs> for one panel. When I was in high school, I worked for a farmer, and we'd haul cows to the sale every Tuesday, or that might have been every Thursday at Chipolo. I think it was every Thursday at Chipolo and every Saturday at Pontotop. Pontotop. Yeah. And, uh, of course, it was all hauling bulls and everything on to the sale because the sale on thursday was i had a bunch of feeders there they'd buy them for of course i mean slaughterhouses and stuff mm -hmm. uh, but somebody brought in a bunch of old heifers in there one time too and i remember walking through up there you walk on the big rails on top of so you can see all the cattle and stuff yeah somebody came in with all them dang heifers and there's two bulls flat-footed jumped over a six-foot rail i'm talking about like yeah, never like can. People don't think a cow is athletic yeah. until it decides it wants to go there. Yeah, I mean, never touched it. I mean, it could be an Olympic high jumper. I mean, like, <laughs> both of them. One did it, then the other one right behind it. I yeah. mean, I was shocked. Because I ain't never, at that point, I ain't never seen a cow jump a fence. Mm. I just seen them run through the fence, you yeah. know, like barbed wire. I, I mean, seen a bull come out of the top of an open top trailer one time. That was <laughs> come, and it was at Pontotop. They run him in there. He decided, hey, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not taking this ride today. Yeah, he come out of the top. Landed on the ground and walked around in the parking lot. Like, what are you going to do about it? I was like, well, there you go, boys. That and sounds like a McDonald's one right there to me. <laughs> Turn, put him back in there. Let's run him back through the cell again it. next week. It's funny. You know, I got some kin folks that live up north. And, uh, of course, we've always had cows and stuff growing up my whole life. You know, and one of my cousins was talking about, he said, like, what are you doing them cows? I said, well, we sell some. We eat some. He's like, you eat them? I was like, yeah. He said, I don't know about that. Farm raised cows, that don't sound too good. And I said, where do you think your meat comes from? He said, I get my meat at the grocery store. <laughs> I just shook my head. I was like, like okay. They build right. that in the back yeah. back there. Yeah. 
He gets his meat at the grocery store, not yeah. at the farm. So. Oh well. It's best to uh, find your local farmer and you and somebody else. If you don't have cattle like mm -hmm. Clay does, I ain't got no cattle. I ain't had none in a long time. My daddy used to, but uh, me and somebody else, we always go in and go buy one somewhere mm -hmm. and take them to the slaughterhouse. About a 750 pound steer that's been cut and it's good and fat. Yep. Man, ain't a lot no of people better. think, well, that's a, a bunch of a cost up front, but yeah, when you're getting it for, I mean, you might have what? A dollar a pound. Dollar a pound in invested in it. What versus is that with? $9 yeah. a pound. <laughs> <laughs> or get what is ground them. beef, six ninety nine a pound? I don't know, I ain't bought none in so long because if I get it done or we eat deer yeah. meat. And That's true. Yeah. I don't even think we even got any beef in the freezer right now. We got all deer meat in there. Hmm. Guess Time to re up. Come springtime, we'll get one. <laughs> There you go. Well, what cool new stuff you got this week? As uh, far as new, I ain't got nothing new in. I got, of course, a bunch of sockets, flip sockets in. But I seem like I've been getting all week this week. I've just been moving a bunch of stuff. We ordered a lot for Christmas. We got shop owners buying stuff for people or shops doing Christmas parties. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was telling them about Clay a while ago. We ordered a bunch of stuff this week for multiple different shops doing Christmas parties for their guys and everything. Man. That one shop's yeah. doing something really cool yeah. for, I, I ain't gonna say nothing because they probably watch the channel, yeah. but I got it's pretty cool what he's doing for his employees. They're spending some money on for the guys and stuff, which is, that's pretty neat. And it's good for you too. Yeah. No a doubt. little local business every now and then. Yep. We'll, take, we'll get whatever they need. <laughs> you should have sold him a lift for everybody in the shop. <laughs> That'd been even better. <laughs> <laughs> but what he's doing that. is really good though. Like. I've never had anybody do nothing like that for me. So after Christmas, we'll let y'all in on the secret because yeah. we don't want to spoil it for them guys. The guys be getting all excited and everything, thinking it's their shop because they got that many people working there that won't be their shop or something. <laughs> shop owner be getting mad every quick. Yeah, there'll be one of the shop the shop guys walk up to the owner and be like, hey, where's my so-and-so? He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> He'll be having his employees quit going to that other shop. Yeah. <laughs> the guy next year be wanting to do like gift cards in for everybody to have so many employees over there. Well, when we doing the drawing for the big epic? Ah, uh, we getting closer. We uh, we got all these coats, and I got another box at the house. But we getting some tickets put in it though. Mm-hmm. Folks, of course, last week was the first week he had it on the truck, or that we had was doing a drawing. We had the box on the truck for a few weeks, obviously. Uh, but this week, more folks are getting excited about it, and uh, of course, that makes it exciting to see everybody else getting excited about it. There. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. To get in on. a big old epic toolbox. Mm-hmm. She, yeah. Everybody I win that, I may have to add some stuff to it and just sell mine. Go red and black. <laughs> Can't be go, a complete change. Be total opposite, yeah, from white and blue to red and black. <laughs> yeah, buddy. The total opposite. That's a whole that's, lot cheaper in my box. I promise you that. The price of a coat. Even if you have to buy the lockers and top, top box, box at full still price. Be, yeah. you know? Still be better off. Heck yeah. Can't beat that. But somebody's gonna win it. Yeah, that's cool. I told them other guys they need to get their dealers to step their game up a little bit. <laughs> I've been getting texts all week like, I wish my dealer would do something like that. And then one guy, he, he called me and I stopped him for about 20 or 30 minutes. He seemed pretty cool. He's like, my dealer would never do nothing like that. He wouldn't even give hats away to nobody. As one of them said, he <laughs> bought an epic box from his dealer and he didn't get a free snap on hand. I said, shh, man. That's what uh, the year I bought my toolbox, I got all kind of hats and shirts. I got a coat. My wife got a coat. That's what every, you can ask Clay. I don't charge. I mean, for my hats and stuff, some people I charge, but if they're a halfway decent customer, I don't charge for hats mm -hmm. and shirts and stuff like that. I've never you, uh, bought a snap on shirt or hat. Yeah. And, and almost every shirt I have, well, I'm wearing one today is tool yeah. truck shirts. You know? <laughs> and I got a tool truck shirt on under the tool truck shirt. <laughs> It is what it is. So guys, you just need to tell your dealer, say, look, come off of that pocketbook a little bit. Yeah. But I'll tell you how you guys can fix this. Now, Hamilton, you need to close your ears. <laughs> I don't want to offend you, but all you other dealers, if I was you guys and your dealer didn't give me a hat, when I go on the truck, they'd be like, boy, I sure would like to have this. Well, we can let you have it for such and such a week. I sure would like to have this. I think I kind of want both of them. I sure would like to have this, but 
Man, my Mac code dealer gives me free hats when I buy <laughs> stuff, so I'm just gonna wait and talk to him. Like, it wouldn't take long, and they, they could cure that problem yeah. right there. But, I mean, there's other dealers in this area that don't give free stuff away like that all the time, mm -hmm. And, I mean, some folks that don't bother, but there's some folks that, like Clay just said, though, some folks won't buy something if they don't get, if they don't think that they're getting a good deal off of it. That's right. I mean, if I'm going to A hat goes a long way with, like, I, it may not be that way up north. Yeah. But I can say down south. Yeah, down south, yeah. Hats sure. go a long way there down probably here. Probably seven out of ten guys down here wear caps. And stuff. Yeah. They, uh, but I'm not gonna let a five hundred dollar impact deal get lost over a dang twenty dollar hat. So. Exactly right. I wouldn't either. Heck to the no. And like if a guy said, "Hey, I want to buy that toolbox," even though that's the toolbox you said you're gonna do a giveaway on it, I'd be like, "Boys." We're going to have to pick another color. <laughs> that thing's gone. <laughs> yeah, we, got, we got another toe box that we're giving away yep. this time. I'm going to let y'all pick your color for an extra $500. You can pick it the color you want. <laughs> you pay me 500 bucks. It's your color. So yeah. there you go. Yeah, we go through the hats and the shirts for sure, though. Yep. You sold a bunch of them up here at the, the meetup. Like, everybody was. Yeah. Well, I we, had to get my Snap-on hat imported, remember? Yeah. <laughs> It was sent back to me because uh, I didn't even get to get one. Yeah. We, uh, we go through a bunch of hats and shirts. That's cool. But, hey, that's what the people want, that's what the people get. So. That's it. No doubt. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all get on your dealers, get you a free hat. That's how it goes. <laughs> See ya. There's going to be a lot of snap-on dealers upset over that one, ain't they? Yeah. <laughs>